Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs and today we are diving back in to create a pet for a very special little side experiment that I would like to whip together and that is diving in to see how the raccoons look in The Sims 4. We have played a lot with the different foxes, we have started to play a lot with the various dogs, I have plans for quite a few wonderful kitty cat creations, but I need to add in some raccoons. Not only do we need these rascals in order to be able to enjoy our new live stream special event where we have a kleptomaniac who also wants to be a criminal mastermind who is going to have an entire gang of hooligans aka these trash pandas aka raccoons. So I'm really excited about that. We need raccoons so that she can have all of the raccoons her heart desires and we're going to train her raccoons to actually be thieves who are going to roam the neighborhood and prowl about because prowling cats as raccoons count as cats in Sims 4. Just a quick reminder, they don't count as cats in real life. Just in case you think some cat raccoon action crossbreeding could happen, nope. Big no, big no. But in Sims 4, with its playful, whimsical nature, yes, they can indeed have kittens with your cats. We will be experimenting with raccoon kitten combinations at the end of the video for sure. But I do need to create an entire gang of hooligans, the rascal raccoon gang, who are going to be prowlers. Prowlers are cats that enjoy prowling around the neighborhood. If you send them prowling, they might come back with something they've found. So I'm hoping that is kind of like when you have a dog, you can actually give the dog in The Sims 4 a hunting trait. And the hunter trait has actually turned out to be very useful in our fox and the hound let's play that we've been doing. I have been having so much fun with that. But our dogs are both hunters and they actually go off and they dig stuff up and bring them back to us all the time and it's really exciting. So far, our fox in that series has brought us a giant space rock and a child's violin, and it has just been cracking me up to see what they bring back. And the dogs can bring back stuff, so I haven't tried out having a prowler yet to see if the prowler trait might kind of be the uh, complement for cats as the hunter trait is for dogs because there is no hunter trait for cats. So I'm a little bit confused about that, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna make ourselves a raccoon. It is going to be a prowling, um, not so much territorial. Let's do a glutton. That sounds more like a raccoon to me, who is mischievous. So that's gonna be our very first raccoon, a mischievous prowling glutton whose name is just going to be raccoon and who is going to be the leader of our little gang of raccoons. So. So we're going to come in here and the only thing I want to change on the leader actually and actually on the raccoons as a whole is all of the raccoons I know have like really big butts. I don't know about you guys, but I guess that's as large as the raccoon rump can become because all the raccoons in my home, which I have showed you guys pictures of before. As they raid my bird feeders, those hooligans have really big rumps. They're not like this little petite tapering like you get on a cat. They're actually very, very large. But I guess it's as big as you can make your raccoon rump, I suppose, on a cat. Yeah, it looks like that's about as big as you can get with cat rumps. What if I make them really fat? That's more like the raccoons in my home area, to be completely honest, but I guess we'll just go ahead. He's got a cool raccoon voice, in case you guys couldn't hear it. Let me broaden the muzzle a little bit, because my raccoons have like... Eh, well, okay, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> my raccoons are pretty hilarious, but let's go ahead and we're going to check. Yep, sure enough, there is a raccoon voice that you can give the raccoons to. I've actually not heard my raccoons make much noise. Uh, so that might be kind of interesting to see in the future if we end up having some raccoons that can make a lot of noise around my home, at least. I'll let you guys know. But because this is the leader of the gang, what I want to do is give them some leadership eyebrows. So we're actually going to do, because we're basing this off of the rascal raccoon picture 
that was actually created by one of our amazing Patreon users. I believe it's it's Burb, Burb, and I will try to make sure I link to Burb's uh, little social media links down in the video description as a thank you because Burb made it after I told the story about the Rascal Raccoon gang. And so we're going to be basing all of the raccoons that I make off of the Rascal Raccoon gang, and we are actually going to be having this be the leader. So let's go ahead and actually add in some special features. I'm thinking maybe making some mittens and some paws on this raccoon, making them nice and dark. And once we finish, then we'll go ahead and make some siblings or some children for this raccoon to have in their little gang. And then at the very end, we will see what happens when we mix our rascal raccoons, add a dash of romance, and have some raccoon kitten hybrids. Um... Wow! Okay guys, I wasn't supposed to actually look and see exactly what could happen with the breed mixer yet. I went to make another raccoon to add to our raccoon rascal gang, and somehow we ended up with this creature? Look at this! Is this not like the most glorious cat you have ever seen? I, I cannot get over these features. This is just so cool. I definitely want to make this happen. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to create this lovely lady. And we're going to say that this is Boss's lady. And that she is a cat who likes to think of herself as kind of like a raccoon. And she helps to lead the entire raccoon rascal gang. I I love her. We're going to make sure to modify her uh, her relationships with the others so that she does not actually count as the daughter. We are not going to have her be the daughter. She's going to be the roommate. There we go. So roommate, 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 roommate. Okay, and apparently you can't give pets relationships like mate, but she's going to be uh, the mother. Let's go ahead and set her as the mother of Pumpkin and Tom and Pockets. Oops, excuse me. Okay, so that's going to be her son. Sorry about that. So Pumpkin is going going to be her daughter. There we go. Now I got it. So daughter, daughter. Oh, Tom, I've got to change. <laughs> I've got to go ahead and change Tom to a male. And we're going to go ahead and have Ginger be the daughter in pockets. And you're probably wondering, who the heck am I talking about with all of these raccoon names? Sorry about that. Normally, I'm a little bit more organized for these creative pet videos. But this, this beautiful feline just completely took my breath away. So let's go ahead and give her a name. Uh, Zoe, Squee, Fidget. No, those names aren't really... I, I kind of feel like I need the name of a famous female thief. Hmm... We're going to go with Irene, and props off to those of you who recognize where the name is from, but those eyes just say Irene to me. So we have Irene and Boss. Boss is kind of your rough, tough raccoon, and he is the leader of this little raccoon gang. So they definitely are very odd-looking raccoons. I was kind of going for more silly and stylized. I might tweak some of the features about them. Keep in mind, these weren't meant to be any kind of raccoons that are really more like designer raccoons. It's just me playing around in Create a Pet, getting ready to add raccoons into both our streaming world, which is oh so fun, so that Heather, who steals all of the things with her kleptomaniac skills, her connections to the Meowfia, and her desire to become an international best thief, is going to have her raccoon gang who are going to prowl around and fetch things for her. And we also need to add raccoons and to interact with and possibly befriend in our Fox and the Hound Let's Play. So these are more meant to be kind of more cartoony, fun raccoons, but I had a fun time just kind of messing around in Create a Pet and seeing what we could end up with. This one is Pumpkin, so this is just a fun reddish raccoon. It is one of the bases that actually does come with Create a Pet. It's really fun to see how easy it is to make a very individualistic and very stylized raccoon just by grabbing, or excuse me, like pet, just by grabbing a base, grabbing a brush, diving into paint mode, and kind of swapping the paint mode around a little bit, and just lightening up some textures here, darkening some textures there, and you actually end up with a pretty fun, unique looking animal, even though you really didn't change much from the base. I really, really enjoy that. But Pumpkin is a prowler, so that Pumpkin can be part of the Raccoon Rascal Gang. And then we've also got a skittish trait and a fluffy trait on this one, and I kind of want Pumpkin. We're going to go with 
a little bit of a lower voice on pumpkin there we go and then over here we have Tom and we're actually going to go ahead and make Tom a boy and we are going to make sure that boss is his father there we go that should fix it sister brother sister yeah that should fix it on the relationship so hopefully that's good but Tom 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 Reminds me a little bit of Tom Nook, to be completely honest. But Tom is actually Boss's, uh, like, second in command. The heir who he is grooming to hopefully be able to become the leader of the Rascal Raccoon Gang in the future. He is the one who is the most aggressive and territorial. Also, the most aloof. He doesn't need any human interaction. He's going to be all about gathering up the best of the spoils and goodies to share with the gang. And he's also a, a hopefully going to end up being a little bit more aggressive than the other raccoons because he has a lot of desires to really lead the gang and hopefully we'll have to see which one of the raccoons ends up bringing back like the absolute best loot that'll be so much fun to see how the different gang members kind of get to squabble amongst each other for trash and treasure and then following Tom we have pockets his brother who looks mostly like a normal raccoon I wanted to try to keep most of the raccoons looking normal that kind of went out the window pretty quickly who has a little bit of a like cape down his back he kind of has like a little bandana but it's a bandana made out of just some darker colored fur right here I put a little white patch and that's actually supposed to indicate where he has run into some trouble in the past he's quite clever and he is also quite curious and that does get him into some trouble so he has actually lost some fur easy to mimic just by putting in a little bit of a lighter colored patch here and there and then you can see he's also got uh, this paw right here oh I need to fix the paw really quickly okay dive 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 look how easy this is when you are painting on the animals I love it there we go. No, I didn't need it symmetrical. <laughs> Come on, Pockets. We've got to do this. It's just this one little spot. You really kind of have to twirl and twist and turn the cats and dogs all around. It's kind of hilarious to make sure that you get all of the little details that you want to add in. But we now have Pockets. So Pockets is a normalish looking raccoon, but he is ready to join the gang, really use his clever skills to hopefully be able to help out his little crime family. And then right over here, we have Ginger, who again, I was feeling the more normal-ish looking raccoons but Ginger has a slightly lighter coat a few dark feet she's got some lovely blue eyes she has got some lighter colors around the face and she is affectionate she's a prowler of course because she's part of the rascal raccoon gang and she is fluffy so I really like Ginger I think she might be fun we're gonna give her a super high-pitched little raccoon voice. Uh, her father is going to be Boss. Her mother is going to be Irene. There we go. Good. Everybody is lined up. And then we have Irene. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, wow. I love this patterning. I love this mix. She's just beautiful. The eye color, the little heart-shaped nose. I just feel like this is a cat who knows what she wants out of life. And what she wants happens to be the most beautiful and fancy pearls that she can find. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to make her a spoiled cat who's going to be quite mischievous. Oh, actually, if that's the mischievous trait, Irene, we're going to give you something a little bit more there we go we're gonna give her something maybe a little bit more elegant Irene let's do let's do maybe aloof yeah we'll go ahead and give her the aloof trait and we will make her a prowler as well because she likes to bring home things too so this is our lovely Irene I think that she is going to make quite the interesting I love that little <laughs> that little face they do quite the interesting cat and we're gonna give her and she's going to have a normal cat voice. Let's see. We'll give her kind of a lower cat voice. And she's going to be quite mysterious. But there we go. So that is my Rascal Raccoon Gang, guys, with one cat included, which I wasn't anticipating. But I think that she was won over by Boss when he showed up and he managed to share some pretty good spoils that he got his paws on with her. And they ended up with their four children and they are now going to be the troublemakers of my neighborhoods. But before we go, I want to do just a couple more genetic experiments so that you guys can see what happens if you take a raccoon and you mix it with unknown cats so we have boss and I'm sure that uh even though he loves Irene he might be leaving some little bosses all around the kitty cat neighborhood which again can't happen in real life but I just really 
I love the results when you just mix the random crossbreeds and create a pet. So I want to see what they look like. Kitten to cat, quite like her dad, actually. So that's what this one would look like, just using an unknown parent. And then if we randomized again, higher tail base. It's so amazing to see how easy it is to shift an entire cat's appearance just based off of a few traits. And then what would happen if we actually picked breeds? So if we had an American Bobtail, oh my goodness, <laughs> look at how cute. It looks like a little cougar. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So what would happen if you mixed an American Bobtail and the raccoon? And then you made him an adult. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that with the fluffy tail. That doesn't look like an a American bobtail at all. So again, you can see how it draws on the base of having some of the uh, raccoon coloring is assigned a boss. So he'll pass on not only his custom coat, but also all of the raccoon coats that come with the game. And the same thing, it could also draw coats from the American bobtail. So that is what you could end up with. It looks like the tail will pop back from boss. And then, oh my goodness, wow. You actually, what? You end up with quite the wide variety just breeding between two. You could probably breed again and again and again with just two pets and end up getting tons of different appearances. Uh, oh, that's such a pretty one. Some, and then how funny would it be if they carried some of the raccoon genes? So then this one's little children might end up inheriting the raccoon gene. Who knows? I don't think that's as in depth as Create a Pet will actually work in The Sims 4, but I do think this is quite interesting. Look at that facial structure of the raccoon mixed with the cats. So let's go ahead and try, let's just do random breed again. Oh my gosh. You can end up with such beautiful cats when you do this. The really goofy ones. And then really gorgeous ones like Irene. I just, I couldn't believe it when I just accidentally hit the random button and the next thing you know, there was this gorgeous cat staring at me. I hope Irene can stick around forever. But again, guys, you don't have to make wonky looking raccoons or raccoon cat hybrids if you do not wish. You can go ahead and just fill your neighborhood with an entire gang of uh, quite normal looking raccoons. And who knows, maybe Boss and his flirty ways might do that for us. So, all right, this is my raccoon gang. They're a little bit excessive on the colors and the designs and the styles but it's just really fun to see kind of like in a way since four is so much better for that more cartoony sort of appearance and that more cartoony sort of look than Sims 3 ever could be. And it just sort of adds to the hilarity, if you ask me. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where Irene and Boss and their children will take us. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.